We're back, witches. Woo-hoo! Hello. <laughs> but before we go there, so we acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we work, rest, and play, the Bunwurrung people of the Kulin Nation and the Ghana people of the Adelaide Plains, and pay respect to elders past, present, and emerging. We also wish to extend that acknowledgement to the First Nation people of the lands in which you are listening from and any First Nation people here today. So what up, witches? Welcome back to Witch and a Bitch in a Podcast. I'm your host, Darren. I'm Vicky. How are you all today? I hope you're doing really, 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 really well. I am doing really well. This is like Good. three episodes in a row for us now. We're I on a know. roll. We'd like just boom, boom, boom. Look so at us go. In case you haven't listened to the other two, stop this one, go back to listen to that one, go then back. come to the one before and then come back here. No, just kidding. Oh, yes. Yeah, you've got to go back and then go back again. Yeah, you have to go back twice. Back. Yeah. So we, we decided that now that we're returning, in order to make things more efficient, we are going to record what we're going to call like mini-sodes. Yeah. Make it a little bit more digestible, a little bit more like so that you can absorb it easier, not so long, because mm. I don't know about y'all, but listening to my voice for more than 30 minutes. <laughs> it's probably enough, isn't it? <laughs> you little witch. Yeah. Anyway, See, I'm safely over here in Adelaide, so it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so uh, the first one of these, uh, part one, we were talking about where we've been in the mundane. Yep. Then Vicky gave us an update on what she's been doing in her spiritual practice. Yep. Part dos was um, where I spoke about myself. And All now part that. tres, we're going to say, talk about where we're going from here. Yeah. Where we're, where are we going? Where we're offering. Where are we going? I, I, who Australian knows? Australian lighting. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Bad joke. (laughs) Anyone from Australia will get it. Where are you going? Australian lighting. Um, Yeah, stupid. I don't know why I said that. (laughs) My brain works in mysterious ways sometimes. No, in all honesty. So reining it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reining it in a little bit. Before we go completely there, I wonder also, like now hearing a little bit about where we've both sort of been in that hiatus time a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. Has have you found personally for yourself has that kind of has your practice now changed or oh, 100%. evolved in any complete way complete 180 yeah complete 180 so pre hiatus me yep um was very much very much in the witchy mhm um, yep. not that i'm not anymore but i was very much in the witchy like 100% of my time was devoted to witch which yeah anything, like exclusive exclusive yeah. witchcraft it had to be fit into this box of what i define yeah. as being witchcraft which is ironic that every one of our guests we asked them had like what's your definition of a witch and for some reason i managed to box myself i never box others but i boxed myself yeah isn't that interesting thing. we've constantly been trying to break the boxes and getting everybody to break the boxes and be who they are mm, but we couldn't break it our own no yeah so <laughs> since then i have um Worked more with the angelic realm. Yeah. Uh, so that's more prevalent. Uh, Kununos is still there. He, it's mm-hmm. not that he's gone. Yeah. But he took a little slumber. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and reason for that, I mean, he is technically in the underworld because it's winter. Yep. For another couple out. of days. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but uh, no, also because what y'all can't see off camera, and it's been sitting here for the last mm-hmm. couple of months. I have got my devotional tool, my ultimate devotional tool that I've been waiting months for. I ordered online and never thought it would come because I thought it was just one of those scams that it was never going to get here. Yeah. So I actually have a deer's skull cap. So the top part of the skull. It's And these huge antlers. And like huge. He's going to live up here. He's going to live up here. I don't know whether Gorgeous. he'll be on camera. I may need to rethink how I do this. I was about to say, I think I don't, there's no way he will fit in completely no no but he he'll be up there um on the wall um and see this is how far i've thought about it so i already know where he's getting placed but the thing is (laughs) i i don't want to place him just willy-nilly it needs to be done securely because if this falls and breaks i will (gasps) i will never forgive myself yeah um and it's heavy Yeah, yeah um but uh so i've got that so for me, I've kind of allowed him to lay dormant until this goes up. And then because once I've fully devote myself to Kanunos, mm. I actually want to do a daily devotional to him. 
Yeah. So I've kind of allowed myself, <laughs> I'm buying myself time <laughs> because I know once that goes up, we're in business. It's, yeah, there's no turning back. Yeah, because I've got, I've already got my shamanic drum courtesy of mm-hmm. doing sound healings and I know I'll yeah. be using that. I don't know how my dog, cat and husband will feel about me bashing my shamanic drum. Maybe I'll just do it softly in the morning. Um, I find the cats don't like it a lot. No, my cat freaks. Yeah, my cat doesn't like it. The dog just kind of looks One at me like, them. what are you yeah. doing? And the dogs like to sniff well, mind. <laughs> they, like they just want to sniff, sniff it. it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so once that goes up, we mean business. Anyway, so yeah. there's Kanunos, there's the angels. Um, something else that happened to me is I had somewhat of a, oh, how do I word it? Come to Jesus moment. Oh, yes. I completely forgot about that. Yes. Um. So quick Explain. version is. Yes, I was going to say, let everybody know what's going on there. Quick version is, as you all know, I used to segregate church from state. I keep saying that. <laughs> yes, church um, from state again. <laughs> my, my religious self from my everything else self. Yeah. Um. So I do still own the fact that I'm Serbian Orthodox. Mm-hmm. And because of where I work at the gym, in one particular location that I manage, there's a lot of Orthodox people because it's a heavily Greek area yeah, and Russians and whatever, all in that area. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of Orthodox people there. And we were coming up to Easter, which was in April. We stopped recording or we stopped posting in March. Yeah, I had yeah. already, I think I'd already started fasting by that point for sure. Had, yeah. Um, yeah. So I did because of people at the gym and no, not peer pressure, but she said, oh, you're going to fast with us because it's like seven weeks of fasting it's a long time yeah and so 49 days to be honest and it was like i was vegan for that whole time because she appealed to my sense of brain power and willpower and stuff like that and seeing what you can achieve and accomplish less than the spiritual christian yeah side, side of, things. of things yeah so i did the fasting and i'll be honest there were a few times where i wanted to stab people because for me that was like willpower was needed so much because I love myself some cheese um, mm, and chocolate yes. and all those things. <laughs> all the things. Um, but anyway, so then I did the fast. And then for me, I told myself that, well, if I fast that I have to go to church. Mm-hmm. Um, and shout out to my friends from um, Crunch Chadson. They invited me to Easter lunch. And I know that after fasting, you can't eat meat until you've done communion. Well, you're not supposed to. So communion is the official end of the fast. Yeah. So I, I got, I got dressed up. I went to church for the first time in however many years. Um, (laughs) And I went to midnight mass of all things. I was going to say, not just any, the midnight Midnight mass. So I went there at midnight Mm. um, and our midnight mass goes for two hours. Yeah. And in that two hours, I was walking several blocks around the church. Like you walk several times around the church and there's a whole procession thing when you're walking with a candle and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Um, And me thinking that they're going to give us communion after two hours, like, okay, see you all again later today for the normal mass. And I'm like, where was the communion? And then someone told me, they're like, oh no, we don't do that till the 10 o'clock mass. I'm like, (laughs) so I just came to church for two hours for what? (laughs) (laughs) At like from midnight till 2 a.m. Yeah, I was so going to say, not even just a, an evening or anything no, like that, midnight no. till 2. And mind you, full disclosure, Chris was overseas. He was in Thailand with a friend. Oh, yeah. He was um, so I messaged him because he was still awake. And I said to him, I just went to midnight mass. He goes, what? I'm like, yeah, I went to midnight mass. He goes, <laughs> where? I'm like, at church. He goes, no, I got that. But what? <laughs> he was so confused by the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, like, what is happening? Because I haven't yeah. gone in years. Um, yeah. And anyway, so then I went home. And the next day I went back to church for the 10 o'clock. I went right at the front. Cause I'm like, I want this freaking communion. So I'm, I'm getting get out this of here. done. I'm getting this sorted. I'm getting this done. But this is where everything took a turn because yeah. when I was at the front, we normally don't go past the, is it called the app, as, apps or asp or whatever? There, there, there's I'm not our sure. church. Is I know what you're talking like about, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. So we stand on the long bit here. That's the door at the bottom. We come up and then this is the bit where there's the two side doors. Yeah. And then in the middle there where it crosses over, there's, if you look up, there's a big dome. We normally don't go past that. So yeah. you never get to look up into the dome because you're behind it. Yeah. Um, but because there were so many people for Easter, we all had to move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. And as I've moved forward, I've looked up. And I've been doing Serbian lessons as well for yeah. the last six months. Yeah. So old me, I've been into this church numerous times, but 
it never used to be painted like it is now. Now there's frescoes in every square centimeter of that building in the inside. Mm-hmm. It's painted. Beautiful. And so that was the first thing that was like, wow, the whole time I was like this, because I hadn't been to church in so long that it was, it's like a different building. It's fascinating. Yeah, I was just that's like, right. Whoa, this is so cool. Like, because I love religious iconography and stuff. Yeah. Um, and anyway, so then I got ushered forward so more people could file in. And I've looked up and I instantly had all these thoughts in my head about I'm going to be judged. There's going to be people here that I know. They're going to, they know that I'm gay. They're going to judge me, say, what is he doing here? Blah, blah, blah. blah. All these, because that's the reason why I left the church is because they would yeah. use my sexuality against me and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, and I just felt unwelcomed. But anyway, so I was standing there, all these thoughts going through my head. And I look up and I see this banner that says, um, blessed are those who arrive or who come. The mm-hmm. rough translation. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's an interesting thing to read because now I understand the words. And then I look up and there's the icon of Jesus Christ looking down and he's literally looking at me. And then I hear a voice. Now, I'm not saying it was the voice of Jesus, but I believe that universe always talks to us in a way that makes sense at the time. And because I was so heavily in the church and I just fasted and I'd been to church that Mm. morning and then coming back again now, the voice that I heard, I can only quote it as being him because of what he said yeah yeah. essentially because obviously easter is all about him sacrificing himself for the betterment of humanity whatever the words that came out were i did what i did so you don't have to go through this in other words because i'm reliving all my sin yeah which is forgiven because of his sacrifice and because of the fact that i felt then that he was his way of saying you've just sacrificed so much to come here today yeah uh like i didn't go to yoga like i was gonna and mm-hmm. I also, I sacrificed things for seven weeks and then I went there and whatever. And it was just this beautiful moment. Like, yeah. I've and also never... beyond that too, like you hadn't been there for so long yeah. either. So like you sacrificed or put aside those feelings of not feeling welcome or whatever you rose yeah. above that to still be there. And in all honesty, because I've been doing all the sound healing and everything else like that and tuning into my intuition, mm. I think that's the reason why I heard that voice. <laughs> Yeah, probably is Because I, I was yeah. I was getting messages from spirit constantly up until that point. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. it's like that. And I, I, I've even, I told, I literally rang Chris in Thailand and I told him because I couldn't believe that I heard this voice in church because it yeah. never happened to me in 38 years of my life. Um, But I can only call it the voice of God or the voice of Jesus. But as you know, to me, God is, syn- is a synonym for universal spirit. Yeah. Whatever. Um, and to me, it just appeared in that voice because of that, what made sense at the time. Um, cause if it was one of my other female guides, it wouldn't have made sense. No, it wouldn't have. No, no. that's right. It would not have had the same kind of no. impact. No. So that happened. So now since then, I know I've told a long winded story to get there. So no. I've got angels. I've got this reconciliation with my Christian side that it's no longer separate. Like so mm-hmm. much so that now I have my, I mean, I have had, I had it up this whole time, my icon, on the wall, which is St. Peter and St. Paul. Um, that's been on the wall for months, but now I actually say something whenever I look at it. Like I have a little yeah. prayer thing that I do to yep. it um, to honor them because they're, they're also my spirit guides. They happen to be saints, but they're my spirit guides. They're my boys. Yep. yep. That's um, it. Peter and Paul. So, um, yeah, so it's definitely. It's been this interesting mix of kind of going a different direction, but coming back to where you originally were, but then also kind of healing a really big healing journey of um, like, especially with like the Christianity and and that side of things, like that real healing part to it yeah. too, that it, how do you find that now, like you said, you, you say um, different things whenever you pass them and everything before, whereas before it kind of felt like I should do that or whatever, whereas now it actually just, it's reconciled within you and you can just freely. I say it, it because I mean it, not because someone yeah. told me to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think I've even said it in a previous episode. Yeah, I did. When I used to go to Catholic church when I was a kid and I would literally just look at everyone like a bunch of drones. Mm, like, yeah. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be. Like literally they just recite the Lord's Prayer, but do any of them boxes. actually know what they're saying? Yeah, that's right. Just to kind of tick in the boxes. We're supposed yeah. to do this. This is what we say now. So we say it. To me, to me, and no no tea on any Catholic witches out there or anyone that's no. listening as Catholic beliefs, but to me, organized religion is very much colour by numbers. Yeah. 
you get told what to say, when to say, so you get told where to color, what color, where it goes. Mm. So it's, it's very much prescribed to you. Whereas what attracted me about orthodoxy and what I've finally learned, and I've been nearly, I've almost been orthodox for nearly 20 years. Yeah. Um, only now have I finally learned that it's all about personal practice. Orthodoxy is about your personal relationship with God or with spirit, with source, whatever you want to call it. Of will use mm. the word God because it makes most sense in this discussion. Yeah, in the context of but, it. Um, and now that I've had that, my own aha moment, my own come to Jesus mm. moment, whatever you want to call it, like it pushed aside all my preconceived ideas of what Christianity is now. Now I now know what it is. Yeah. It's got nothing yeah. to do with reciting anything. Um, it's it's, just, it's it. just all about show up and do the things. Just do mm-hmm. the fucking things. Mm-hmm. That's it. And I've adapted that and adopted that into my practice. Um, so now I just do the things. If there's something I need to do, I do it. Yep. Um, I'm not doing Beautiful. it because someone said to. Like I meditate regularly. Yeah. I do sound healing regularly. I go within when I need to go within. Um, like whereas before I felt like, oh, in order to be a witch, I have to do this on the full moon and I have to do this on the new moon. No, I just do it whenever the fuck I need to do it. Yeah. Like, obviously, I still pay attention to that. I'm not saying totally. Yeah, of course. But it's it's more congruent and following your own energy and your own flow and yeah. what, what works, not, not just what works for you, but actually just tuning into that. It's about that personal journey, not not an external thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just whatever I feel is right at the time is what I do. Yeah. Yep. Um, so have I been back to church since? Not specifically, but I ha- like, but I, as I said, I honor it's more Peter prominent. and Paul when I see them yep. and yeah. I burn frankincense and myrrh in my house again. Yeah. See, there's and all those little practices that start to come in. And even though witches also burn them, I, mm. but for me, it's different because I do them from. It that, has a dual meaning. Now it's honors both my yeah. orthodoxy as well as my witchcraft practice it's yep. for both because they, I, because the one that I get is actually from the church, yep. but it's myrrh and frankincense together. Cause that's a, that's a witch hack for you all. Don't mm. go to, I mean, you can go to your little spiritual stores, but they tend to charge an arm and a leg for frankincense and myrrh. If you just go to an, an Orthodox church, like a, usually Greek churches have them. I mean, any Orthodox church, but Greek yeah. churches, you can just go into the little gift shop, you buy a little box and it's got myrrh and frankincense together in the one little box. It's always go. cheaper. <laughs> cheaper than a metaphysical store there's there a witch, go. witch hack there for go. you <laughs> um anyway what about yourself vicky so what how has your focus or practice changed or um altered I, it over time it has actually really changed i actually think for me it's been a much more inward kind of mm-hmm. development and a bit more going back to what I want, what I, what, um, and listening to those things that really do start to spark what I want. Like I've really gone back to, I guess that more, and I can, you know, I can never say the word properly. Is that more animalistic, animistic, um, animism, yeah. animism, but I don't know what the other part of it is. If you're calling it animist, animistic, there we go. Animistic. It's probably more developed into that, into a much more deeper practice in that kind of respect and starting to really do bringing that magical into the mundane. Like you were saying a bit before, that's why I asked you, like it, it stops becoming a should and you just started to do those kind of things. And I've, I've started to do a lot more of that and I've created a lot more um, I hadn't realized how much, even especially with since we've had the podcast, that I'd actually started to really um, look outwards and mm. really start to look outwards at, at what other people were doing or different practices, and it was all very exciting and all these things. And I, but I had really started to look outwards and expanding that um, who you knew and all the things. And it was actually now really these last few months have all been about turning it back inwards and it's all been about me and my practice and going deeper within myself and um I don't think I mentioned but I've been doing lots of lots of underworld journeys and and things like that as well and and delving into those deeper parts of myself and deepening those connections with spirits guides that I work with and that's been because I needed to have that connection to myself and have that part that was myself again it wasn't 
somebody else's or like even from the past of having been in a coven and it was all very um, with other people and all of that sort of thing. So it was really stripping it back for me to become back and really come a part of who I am and follow that a little bit more. Um, it's hard to say. I was going to say like more earth centric, but that's not quite the word, but yeah. it's sort of that more earthy kind of feel to it. And um, without a lot of the, and making different tools and things like that myself and rather than buying them and, and doing a lot of other things in that kind of respect and just really keeps the biggest part for me has been the internal rather than looking to the external, I think. And that's where mine has really developed. And it's developed again into a little bit how you were saying how it's like just that daily thing now that comes in and it's not something that's so separate. Because mm. I've forever have always put myself in so many different boxes all the time. Like, this is my yoga life. This is my witch life. This is Mom whatever. Life. Yeah, like this is all the different things. Whereas now I'm starting to really, I mean, I've talked about it, but then I stopped and thought, I'm like, no, I really had to strip another layer to be able to start to really mesh those things together and, and allow them to come out in a way mm. that, that flows and is with my works with my energy and re resonates. Isn't it so me. funny how we constantly box ourselves and constantly. separate ourselves and compartmentalize ourselves and, oh and all that kind of stuff. Like we think that they all have to be separate versions of self Yeah. when in realistically they're all us. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's all a part of us. And, and a little bit similar to you where you've been um, shooting in a lot more to the moon. Like I always had, but um, the like, because I teach meditation a couple of times, and I've also added an extra one where I was only doing it once a week. Now I'm doing it twice a week. Um, this sort of next group that's kind of come through ha is looking more for like the full moon. Oh, it's full moon. Are we doing a full moon meditation? Are we doing new moon? Are we doing this? So I've really started to tune and actually bring more of that in. So it's kind of been blurring those lines a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I've been yeah. forced to kind of bust those boxes open a little bit, which has been really good. And because of that, and it was a little bit like what you said um, in an early, in the earlier episode that I've been telling more people about what I'm doing and opening up a little bit more. And I've actually found a lot more friendships and um, a lot more openness and everybody's just like, oh, that's awesome and blah, 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 blah. And then they chat about it and we talk about it. So it started to, I feel like I'm integrating more with myself. And it, if that it, makes sense. Yeah, it, it makes perfect sense because I'm yeah. doing the same thing now that I've brought sound healing into the gym. Yeah. Like, even though, like, because I just love it. And then I started doing it, not knowing if people would like it. And then they like it. And mm. then, but then even then, they're asking, oh, can we go a bit deeper? Can we make it a little bit more yeah. like woo woo, for lack of a better word? And yeah. so then sometimes I bring in like angelic realm. Sometimes I bring in going into the underworld. Sometimes I bring in like all these other imagery or, you know, doing, bring in the energy of Leo or like, like you and I have yeah, conversations almost yeah, weekly. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Like that's where we talk it. and say, oh, Vicky, I'm doing sound healing tonight and it's the new moon in blah, 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 or it's the full moon in blah. Like, what can I do? And we literally just riff ideas. We just sit there go, oh yeah, try this, try this. Cause we're bringing in this or, or whatever it is. And so it's been really beautiful that way of and I hadn't realized until we started to ask these questions that that's how I've been breaking, how we've kind of been breaking those boxes yeah. a little bit and allowing everything to come in. And what I'm actually noticing is that it's funny because you and I, we were talking the talk, but now we're walking the walk. Like before yes. we were doing the podcast, it's like literally yeah. just us talking, but now yep. we're spreading the word, but not through the podcast. We were spreading the word yeah. through our community and through our yep. connections and all that yes. kind of stuff. And then yep. this is just going to add to that. So yes, it's funny because I, I never used to mention the podcast when you went to the gym, but yes, nowadays I actually say, when they say, oh, blah, blah, they ask me questions because like, I didn't realize you're so spiritual. Mm. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, oh, because you're like, so, woo, yeah, go team, go. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Like, so spiritual people can't be like that. They're like, no, but normally they're like, oh, and go in within yourself and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what? Just so I, just because I don't teach yoga. I was going to say, see, I get that all the time. And if I drop like the F-bomb or something like that. that she swore. Like, oh, my gosh. Everybody's like, what? I'm like, yes, I am a normal person. And <laughs> well, outside of this, I'm like, oops, sorry, my facade dropped. I have to stop my yogic personality for a moment. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yes, I swear. Yes, probably like a sailor. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's, it's actually interesting because then it's like 
that whole thing of connection and community, like it that's is, something yeah. that we, we need so that's much now. Um, like it's something that's really like, that's why we assert ourselves in society as a certain thing, because we want to crave, we want to like attract yeah. more people like us. So then we can have this, yeah. this sense of self. Um, Oh, quick plug though. So if you want to be part of Ooh. our community, jump onto Facebook, go onto our Facebook group. Yes. Um, just type in Witch and a Bitch in the Podcast, the group, I think it is, or Witch and a Bitch in the I think it's just Witch and Bitch in the Podcast and it's a group. Oh, like it's, it's, it's a, a group. group. Yeah, 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 I don't think yeah, yeah. there's the group on it. Yeah. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And then so, just ask and it just we just accept it. We, we, yeah. we don't vet you. No. Unless I see that you've got some weird name written usually in a foreign language and that yeah, yeah. You've only got like three stuff. friends. I'm like, no, decline. No, yeah, <laughs> you don't look like a real person. Yeah, that's um, it. Um, but yeah, no, no, no. Come into the Facebook group. Join the little thing. So, um, yes, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's just such an interesting takeout from this because I literally just realized that, realized that now that we're both doing yeah things, but mm-hmm. we weren't. We do. We went inward, discovered ourselves again, but then in some way we've gone outward. Yeah. By then sharing that with others. I don't know. I'm very handsy. Today. We've actually, yes, yes, you are. You are. You're not normally as handsy. I'm often very handsy, but you're not as handsy today and very wide. Yeah. Maybe we're just feeling the energy. <laughs> Bring it into your heart center. Bring it in. Bit Kundalini. <laughs> um, but but yeah. it is, it's been that inward to, and by going outwards, we've actually come inwards more. To then we've go we've, out we've had more. to go in to go yeah. out, which has then brought us more in, which has then given us you, more to go out. So yes. it's like this constant in and ebb and flow, yeah. ebb and flow, ebb and flow, ebb and flow, ebb and flow. <gasps> yes. Look and at us just I've, being the ultimate spiritual. I know, like, aren't we? But then also, have you, and I kind of already know the answer to this question because we've been chatting, but have you, I've found that the, the connections that I'm finding now as well and reaching out to people are much deeper and much more aligned. With yes, like yes. a deeper, not like just a surface level kind no. of like the, the amount people. of people that come have come to my sound healing, yeah, big, and they, they don't know me. So I have my groupies. I say groupies because yeah. they're like my fans. They come to every <laughs> class that I teach, regardless of what format it is, because they they yeah. just want some more of my energy. Yeah, fucking energy vampires. Oh. But anyway, oh. <laughs> yeah. give me another hit. Just give me um, a little bit. A little, little bit more. Um, no, but then there's other people that don't know me. So they're not coming for that reason. They literally just look yeah. on the time table to see sound healing. Oh, that sounds interesting. And then they Ooh, come. Try I have some people that literally travel. Hang on. I need to Google this because I don't know how far it is exactly. But they literally travel. Um, uh, so there. And then we're going to go from there. So they drive an hour to come wow. to my sound healing. Um, they drive an hour to come for my sound healing um, every single Monday. What? Yeah. I think you cut out your mic, but oh. yeah. So yeah, that's better. So yeah, yeah, that's so better. There go. Yeah, so they drive an hour every Monday to come to my sound healing and they, they have to come because oh, they just love it so, so much. And I'm like, that fills me with joy because – I don't do it for the accolade. I do it just because I love it and I want to share yeah. that. And, but then they love it and then they share it. And then it's like, it's so funny because now you see people lining up for my classes and they're normally lining up, getting all like rowdy and whatever. Mm-hmm. But then now you see them rocking up with their yoga mats, with their blankets, their dunas, <laughs> their snow gear, their pillows, their, you know, all the things. And everyone's like, is this, is this the line <laughs> for Zumba? It is. They're like, why has everyone got all this stuff? I'm like, that's for sound healing after, after Zumba. It's for after. <laughs> I love it. It's just so, so funny because they literally go from dancing and being all crazy to then rolling out their mats, putting on their jacket, putting on their blanket, putting on the pillow, putting on their weighted eye mask. I was about to say, have everybody got their little eye pillows? They got their little eye oh, pillows. The best. And then they lay down. <laughs> and they literally lay that their, their head is almost on the stage. That's how close they put their heads to the balls. And I'm like, we need to get am I not going to gonna give you like an Ear I was going to say, like, doesn't it like burst your eardrum or something? Too they much literally, vibration? they want to be almost on top of me because they're yeah. just like, give me more. And then, and that's the class that, like, yes, people follow me to my Zumba classes, but that class is the one that I get a lot of people. They have to have multiple per week. Yeah, they they come to multiple sessions. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's just been funny. It's just <laughs> so been funny. But anyway, <laughs> so I guess um, segueing from there. So yes. where to from here? Yeah, where are we gonna? go from here well we kind of want to open it up a little bit 
we really do want to hear from you guys where you would like, because we're, we're starting again. We're, yeah, we, we, we want to have an open relationship with you all. Yeah, that's right. We want to... <laughs> I was trying to still be very professional. I'm it not. Just, it just didn't work. <laughs> no. We want to open our relationship up to everybody. We everybody. want to be we want to be the biggest whoriest witches that exist. <laughs> that exist. <laughs> Join the group. See, it's got a whole new meaning. Oh <laughs> wow. So now we're now we're conducting witch orgies. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh gosh. By the we way, love a good tangent. By the way, hi, hi, Karen. <laughs> In case your mum is listening. Oh my gosh, I just forgot that. Oh. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm going to have to go back now and find out the exact timestamp and go, Mum, can you just skip it from this point to this point? Please? It's roughly 30 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so, um, so yes, anyway, we want to open it up. But we would really love to hear what kind of things would you love to see on the podcast? Where, what kind of directions would you love us to kind of start to go? Because we did have a lot of, I oh know now everything I say just No, I'm just picturing terrible. that. I'm just picturing that one internet child goes, I'd love you guys to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> could you I love that? while you're on hiatus and you have to see your yeah, faces just every like, day. Shh, just shush again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway oh wow anyway there we go another tangent yep. but in all seriousness we yeah we really would love to hear where where you would love to see things go because yep. we did while we had our hiatus and things like that we still had some guests and things in the in the works we've had lots of beautiful books from Llewellyn and and things like that that we were gonna go through and and bring, bring them out in. as well bring them in and all of those kind of things but we want to hear is that what you want to see is that what you want to hear and what kind of topics and format do you, yeah do you want a Q and A, for example, which yeah. is one that came up. Do you want a panel? <gasps> we could do a panel Ooh, discussion. Ooh, we could. That's a bit exciting, isn't it? We could do a panel discussion. We could. Well, well, if we were to do that, we'd, we'd first have to ask our Patreons. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, by yeah. the way, if you do want to sign up for our Patreon, we'll yeah. pop a link where we'll are. pop all the, all the links. All the, the links everywhere in the and in the bottom um, of the descriptions. Yeah, so we'll are. pop a link to our Patreon if you do want to join the the posse um and then yeah but we want to hear from you so what we're going to do here's what we we'll yeah. do uh let's make this structured so when yes. we post these episodes <laughs> because it's three parts but it's technically the same episode yeah so um but it's just in three parts so when i post this in the group so you have to go into our facebook group join it yeah. then you'll see the post about this episode in the comments is where we're going to open up this discussion yeah but that way it's Up one place because to be honest I love it when you all comment everywhere, <laughs> but we get some comments on Instagram, some on Facebook, some yeah. in the group, some on YouTube. Like they're just, it's, it's hard yep. to keep track of one, all of it. Yeah. For this one, let's, let's bring it all in. You can comment space. everywhere, comment everywhere yeah. if you want to, oh, but please do. Yeah. Please, please do. do like, share, subscribe, do the little bell ding, ding thing, yeah, all of that. Do all of but that. For, for this specific question, yeah, pop it in the in Facebook there. group and pop it in there and just say, what would you like to see? Where do you want this podcast to go? Yeah. I'm what a... things do you love to hear? What Next minute they say, things? they say, oh, we'd like you to sack me and for Vicky <laughs> to do it on her own or to bring in a different co-host. <laughs> or vice versa or something. And then we we'll just oh. be like. Yeah. <laughs> Cuts deep. <laughs> um, but no, yeah. In all honesty, where do you want it to go? Yeah. Do you want more interviews? Do you want more us talking random shit? I don't know why I'm playing with my. I don't know either. He's very stuff. handy today. Yeah. You are very handsome. Very, very, it's like <laughs> just, just get it. Get it. <laughs> you need to see YouTube for this <laughs> <laughs> to have it all happening. But yeah, where what would you like to? What topics do you like listening to more conversational, where we kind of share our experiences or a bit more information based? Or where do you want to go? We're opening yeah. it up. We'd love to hear from you. I know we've oh. said it in the past, but we really would love to hear. And from here, we're gonna. Kind we could, we could do like here. they did on Buffy and on Angel where they do that one episode that's completely a musical. <laughs> I always hate those episodes. <laughs> I don't want to sing. Can nobody, you imagine? Nobody wants to hear me sing. This is, <laughs> Can you imagine like, if we had to oh, sing an entire episode? That would be a little bit funny. 
Um, or, oh, and then what song would we use? Like for me, like we could absolutely do a, a, a um, a WAP. Look at you go. We, we could do WAP by Nicki Minaj, but change all the lyrics. <laughs> so instead of, being, instead of being a warehouse pussy, we could do something else. I don't know what. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is taking a real tangent now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we could just change the yeah. lyrics and be like rapping like Nicki. Yeah. Okay. You can tell my music taste people. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> vulgar vulgar language anyway it's fine it's so, fine but yes so yeah please we'd love to hear from you guys where what you want to see where you want us to help go and help shape where we go for the future you can tell us where to go <laughs> yeah, just be kind yeah <laughs> on that note though i would really love to say thank you to everybody like even though we said in like the first episode that we've been getting lots of messages like where are you guys what's happening we didn't get a negative one ever oh yeah how beautiful was that like that's everyone was just so lovely checking in on us making sure we're okay yeah and i just wanted to say really huge big thank you and i just wanted to acknowledge that and just say how much i appreciate that and appreciate all of you that it's it was really beautiful to have all of those there was nothing bad there was nothing anything with it It was just all really genuine and and gorgeous so thank you (laughs) and on that note let's end on gratitude so yes let's do that On that note, have a lovely day all, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye.